Assalamu alaikum. In the last lecture, we learned that control systems are very important and control theory finds its applications in almost all modern industrial processes. To control something, we need to know its behavior. The behavior of a system is described by a mathematical model. In today's lecture, we shall talk about mathematical modeling of physical processes. A mathematical model of a system describes the behavior of that system. There are different approaches to obtain a mathematical model. The approach that we shall follow in this course is based upon writing balance equations. The systems that we shall talk about include electrical systems, electronic systems, mechanical systems, electromechanical systems, and liquid level systems. So let's first talk about electrical systems. Uh, three basic elements in electrical networks are resistor, capacitor and inductor. And the tools that are utilized to obtain a mathematical model for electrical networks are Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law, that is KVL and KCL. You have taken at least two courses on circuit analysis which describe analysis of electrical networks. Therefore, we shall not spend too much time on this topic. We shall quickly go through two examples of electrical systems and shall describe their mathematical models. Consider for example uh, a series RLC network as shown in the figure. A mathematical model can be obtained by applying Kirchhoff's voltage law, that is sum of voltage drops is equal to sum of voltage rises uh, which is written in this equation. The first term is the voltage across inductor, the second term is voltage across resistor and the third term is voltage across capacitor and sum of these voltages is equal to the applied voltage V of T. This is an integral differential equation by observing that current is nothing but derivative of charge that is I of t is equal to dq by dt. By this observation the integral differential equation can be converted into a second order differential equation uh, given by this expression. Here the term di by tt is replaced by the second derivative of charge and the integral of current is charge so third term is replaced by 1 over C Q of T. The voltage across capacitor is given by V C of T is equal to 1 by C Q of T. The last two equations describe the mathematical model for the electrical network. The system where there is a change in volt are always modeled by differential equations. Such systems are called dynamic systems. So in this course we shall be mainly dealing with dynamic systems. Consider again the uh, differential equation uh, described uh, describing the electrical network this is a second order differential equation. In modeling of some other systems, we shall have higher order differential equations and even coupled differential equations. You remember the procedure to solve differential equations. This involves first writing a characteristic equation, equation to find the solution of corresponding homogeneous equation, then finding the particular solution and then substituting the initial conditions to find the constants in the solution. This procedure is quite cumbersome. An alternate approach is to utilize Laplace transform. You already remember that Laplace transform converts a differential equation into an algebraic equation which greatly simplifies the things. Now let's take the Laplace transform of the differential equation. You remember that Laplace transform of derivative of 
a function f of t is equal to s f of s minus f of 0 where f of 0 is the initial condition let's take all initial conditions to be equal to 0 thus uh, the first equation on this slide written in Laplace domain is given by L s square q of s plus r s q of s plus 1 over c q of s is equal to v of s by taking q of s common from uh, the left hand side we have the third equation on this slide remembering from uh, previous slide 1 over c into q of s is nothing but uh, the voltage Laplace transform of the voltage across capacitor vc of s rearranging this equation so rearranging this equation we have uh, vc of s divided by v of s is equal to 1 over lc s square plus rc s plus 1 which can be further rewritten as vc of s over v of s is equal to 1 over lc divided by s square plus r over ls plus 1 over lc this ratio that is the ratio of Laplace transform of output and Laplace transform of input with all initial conditions taken equal to zero is called transfer function of a system. Like differential equation, this transfer function also completely describes the system. Just to refresh your knowledge about differential equations and Laplace transform, I have a homework for you. You have not to submit it, but please do it. Solve the differential equation uh, first directly in time domain and then by taking the Laplace transform of this differential equation. Now let's uh, a second e let's take the second example. Uh, we have an electrical network over here with two loops. You already remember the procedure. The approach you are more convenient with is to rewrite the uh, variables in Laplace domain, then apply KVL to obtain two equations. Uh, you are quite expert in analyzing electrical systems so i need not to explain this i just write these equations over here the first term in the first equation is the voltage drop across the resistor the second term uh, second and third term are voltage drops across uh, the inductor and uh, the right hand side of first equation is the Laplace transform of applied voltage. Similarly, in the second equation, the second term is the voltage drop across resistor. The third term is voltage drop across the capacitor. First and fourth terms constitute voltage drop across inductor. The right hand side is zero because no external voltage is applied. So, we have applied KVL to obtain a mathematical model for this electrical network. There is a shortcut uh, which can be applied uh, to describe, uh, uh, to obtain mathematical model in rather more convenient way. The two equations on the last, last slide are rewritten over here. If we look at these equations, we observe that in the first equation, I1 is being multiplied by sum of impedances in loop 1 and I2 is multiplied by a negative sign and sum of impedances common between loop 1 and loop 2. The right hand side of equation is sum of applied voltages. Similarly, in equation 2, I1 of S is multiplied by a negative sign and sum of impedances common between loop 1 and loop 2. I2 is multiplied by sum of impedances in loop 2. 
this observation is described below in words that is i1 of s multiplied by sum of impedances around mesh 1 minus i2 multiplied by sum of impedances common to the two meshes and this is equal to sum of applied voltages around mesh 1 likewise uh, in the second equation i1 of s multiplied by sum of impedances common to the two mesh meshes with negative sign plus i2 of s multiplied by sum of impedances around mesh 2 this is equal to sum of applied voltages around mesh 2 thus we can get rid of even applying kvl we can quickly write the equations describing the electrical network by using this shortcut however remember one important thing this shortcut is applicable only if directions of current are as shown in the figure on previous slide otherwise we have to make some changes in the signs of some terms in this equation uh, again we have uh, the same two equations and now uh, let's uh, suppose that we are interested in current r2 and we take it as the output variable to find the transfer function of the network uh, with v of t as input and i2 as output we can use either elimination method or kramer's rule so applying a kramer's rule we have i2 of s is equal to uh, the determinant of uh, R1, this matrix R1 plus L of S uh, and uh, V of S minus L S 0 divided by delta uh, where delta is given by this determinant so after uh, rearranging uh, the uh, the after rewriting of after expanding the determinant uh, we have uh, this expression that is i2 of s divided by v of s is equal to lc s square divided by r1 plus r2 multiplied by lc s square plus r1 r2 c plus l multiplied by s plus r1 uh, this is the transfer function which describes the electrical network uh, shown on previous slides uh, we generally denote the transfer functions uh, of systems by g of s in the uh, slide uh, are here uh, again uh, we have the same electrical network uh, and in co our control course we shall represent our systems with block diagrams for example our electrical network can be represented by a block containing the transfer function of the system with input v of s and output i2 of s in the next uh, lecture we shall talk about mathematical modeling of electronic circuits